Well, we made it. That was a nerve wracking day. Um, just typical, just listening for noises and your head's thinking about all different things and um, just went really steady from the start. Um, a lot of sand, so um, you, you just don't want to rev the engine and everything. Just, you know, um, it caught a couple out today, bikes breaking and um, yeah, so, and then there was a quite a difficult bit early on. Um, where I looked and the, the waypoint hadn't gone, so um, we did a few little circles there for a few minutes. Um, and then just rode, like, there was like two or three offers riding quite steady. Um, but then I was like lacking concentration, so I just, I, after probably 80k or something like that, I just I thought, right, I need to ride my own sort of pace here and... Uh, yeah, and cracked on and, and really enjoyed it. You know, the, the three quarters of the stage, once I got going, um, loved it. It was a bit of everything. Um, so that was better because it wasn't, you weren't thinking about silly things. And um, when I seen that finish coming in sight, it's just, you know, massive mix of different emotions. Um, so happy that I got there with you know, for, for everyone that's been watching and um, followed the whole story and, and even joined in halfway through, you know, to get to get to the finish was, was the aim to just repay everyone um, that put the faith and, and put the money into me. Um, <clears throat> it, it means more than you'll ever, ever know. Um, so just, yeah, absolutely over the moon and... Um, can't really believe that it's finished, you know, the, the whole, my whole life, the last, well, six months at least, it's been just flat out trying to get sorted and trying to get, get to here. And like everyone knows it was, it wasn't easy. Um, but then it makes it more special, you know, it would be special anyway, but the way that we had to come and do it, um, it it's absolutely one of the best best moments of my life um so yeah just you know it, it'll take a while to sink in i think my life the last two weeks has been um get my drink and stuff ready my camel bag my airbag jacket goggles helmet um boots get everything ready when you come in off a stage um go and get food go and brush your teeth and then straight to bed at, you know, trying to get in bed by 8, 8.30. Up at 3.30, 4, um, was luxury a couple of mornings ago where I didn't have to get up until about quarter to five. Um, but that's it. that was the part that I was really dreading. But actually it was all right. And I think because my ribs are so sore, um, when, I, when I had that silly little crash on day two, um, I went and got an X-ray done just after, and um, had a couple of couple of cracks in me in a couple of ribs. So um, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't ideal. <coughs> I didn't really, I didn't tell anyone really, because um, it's just more for people to think about and 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 worry about that. Oh no, he's injured and stuff. So I just put it to the back of my mind. It was it was absolutely not too bad, apart from the sand dunes. That's where I struggled in because you're coming down uh, the hills on the other side off them and it's g and out real bad at the bottom so it's just like sneezing with broken or hurt ribs every time you and that would go on for 80 90 100k some days um so that took it out of me you know you just had to if you stood up you'd crash because you go with handlebars so you've got to sit down you only weight back and sat on the rear mud guard and and just you know just take the pain um nothing else to it but yeah, you just want to get going and get a bit of adrenaline. It's not so bad. Um, but yeah, just just so happy um, that not happy that it's over. Definitely not. Um, but just so happy I got to that finish line. And uh, yeah, so just thanks. I'll uh, just go and have a chew on it now and just go and relax a bit because. 
We've just got to a hotel, so that's a, a nice luxury for, for tonight until the flight on Sunday. Um, and yeah, just just uh, obviously a big thanks to everyone. Um, it means the world to me, you know, so um, yeah, thanks and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Thanks guys, bye.